as children of the most high god we do not celebrate halloween halloween is a is a celebration of death for the you know it's it's tied into death okay it's tied into witchcraft it's tied into sacrifices of babies and sacrifices of animals to the dead and so every, there's a lot of spiritual activity on a day like today a lot of witches and warlocks wait for today to do a lot of what they uh do on a yearly basis but for whatever reason today because every okay there's power in numbers right we know that because god told us that there was power in numbers within the christians wherever one or two are gathered there am i in the midst but then he also said uh, a triple cord is hard to break right now witches and warlocks they're the counterfeit right they're the other side and right they come all together and they make all these types of uh uh just uh we 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 know about the whole thing of the circles and holding hands and uh and chants and this that and the other but everything has a negative connotation to it to try to hurt people today okay there's a lot of kidnappings etc people don't talk about this they only look at two two or three things they look at the candy they look at the children and the costumes and how cute it is and they look at like the festivities and the fun of it all right there's a lot of sinister stuff going on behind the scenes right and um the devil's all about darkness and today's a day that um the world and notice i'm saying the world celebrates this kind of stuff christians the children of the light children of the light are separated from children of the darkness and so this is for the people that you know want to be part of the uh, the kingdom of heaven they want to uh be part of the family of god for those that want to be separated you can't join in with does light have any fellowship with darkness? That's how the Bible puts it. Can you drink of a cup of demons and a cup of God at the same time? That's how the Bible puts it. Like, of course not, right? So we have to understand that this is this is a, a decision and a choice. And God said in the Bible, I have laid before you options, choices, blessings and curses, life and death. Choose life that you and your descendants may live. When we practice... In, in a day like today, we are basically opening up the door for spiritual activity to enter into our life. The wrong type of spiritual activity, the, the demons and the evil spirits, etc. So I'll say that there's a reason why Satanists, there's a reason why unbelievers don't join us in our baptisms when we're, somebody's getting baptized in Jesus' name. There's a reason why they don't go and celebrate. It's because they don't believe in it and they don't partake in stuff like that. They, they they get eerie of the light they're like ah the light okay in the same way we are the same way with them we don't we don't now on a day like today what i usually do is i evangelize on a day like today um i go out to the to places where they are gathered um, and and then I'll, I'll go over there and preach and, and help people and, and, and pray for people. I've done that for every Halloween for a few years. So then that's different, right? That's snatching people for the kingdom of God. We know that that's different. But, uh, yeah, for those that needed to hear this, uh, common sense ain't so common anymore. So this is a common sense type of thing that Halloween's not of God and that God is not into Halloween, right? That should be common sense, but not everybody knows that. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those things that you gotta, you, you just can't um, partake in something that is not of God and expect there not to be any spiritual repercussions, right? So anyways, for whoever this is for, I'm just letting you know that this is not something that God delights in. It doesn't honor God. It doesn't please God. It doesn't bring good fruit. It doesn't bring God pleasure. It doesn't um, praise God in any kind of form, way, or shape. God is a God of life, not a God of death. There's so much uh, skulls and so much... Uh, like costumes that 
that, that are on the other side that should be these clear indicators for everyone to see that this is this is hell having a celebration it's really that it's hell having a party and the children of hell joining in now those children of hell can absolutely convert absolutely be forgiven absolutely transition but the first thing they need to do is understand the difference between life and death heaven and hell darkness and light good and evil and they need to decide which side are they on something as simple as that is is deciding once you decide then you start to transition man but um I will leave it there. It's just a small little video for those that didn't know. Halloween is not of God. This is not being religious. This is just. This is simply put. It's a dishonor to God to celebrate Halloween. It's a spit in the face of God. It's like. The opposite of what God stands for. How could you partake in any of that? It's not about candy guys. It's not about any of that. That is the. That is not what today's about. And, um, and I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people play uh, like needles and candy to be careful for those people that are still going to go. Uh, be careful because they put like needles and candies and stuff like that. And, um, there's some wicked people out there, let me tell you. Wicked people. So... I'm already praying up. <clears throat> you should pray up as well. It's not about being fear. We don't we don't carry fear and this or that. But we're not uh, ignorant to the devices of the devil. There's a lot of witchcraft going on today, and and being prayed up is a wise thing to do, right? We put on the spiritual armor of God, and we move uh, with understanding. Uh, the Bible says, "Be innocent as a dove, but be wise as a serpent." And with that, I. I exit. God bless you guys.